Luz y Progreso, Light and Progress. This is Sancista Brujo Luis. I'm doing the second part video to my what I recommend what I recommend for fragrances for witches. Now, if you saw three weeks ago, I did one on the female. Uh, what I recommend the female witches would use. Didn't think that was going to be a very popular video. I almost actually deleted it. Uh, and for some reason, I, I put it out on YouTube and I got a huge response of people who enjoyed the video. I got a lot of email. A lot of people were saying, I love that fragrance. That's a good perfume. I'm happy that you recommended it. Um, some male witches were like, well, why did you start with a female, uh, which is not the male uh, witches fragrance, you know, fragrances that you would recommend for this is like a tongue twister. Fragrances that you would recommend for male. Why did you start off with a female? One, I wanted to challenge myself. Uh, I wanted to try out new fragrances. Uh, one, that would be very unisex. So that both male and female can use. Most of those fragrances on that first video are, uh, if you saw it, they're very unisex. So I wanted to challenge myself. Fragrances that I didn't have. And so this video, which I'm going to do on the male fragrances for those male witches in your life, male witches, male vampires, lichens, whatever you have, the goths, the, 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 the alpha males, those people who like to be in a little bit of the dark, um, these fragrances I, I own. So it would be just easy to say, listen, which I'm, what I'm going to do today anyways, but it'd be easy to say, listen, I, I like this, I like this, I like this, try this, try this, try that which is what I'm going to do today anyways. So that first video, was, I just wanted to challenge myself and just discover new perfumes or new fragrances that I might enjoy because I tend to love Orientals. And when it comes to feminine, female fragrances, I think Orientals are very, men can actually, not all, but men, men can try them and they, they do smell very good on, on men. So anyways, let me go on to my recommendation for the male witch, that male brujo in your life. What is the fragrance that I, San Cisla Brujo Luis, recommend? And uh, they are part of my collection. So let's start the video. First of all, I want to add that all the fragrance that I'm going to mention here, they smell dark, they smell cultish, uh, kind of scary, some of them, but they're all affordable. I wanted to make sure that um, the, the clones and the fragrances that I choose for the male, which is just like I did for the female, were affordable. Some fragrances out there that have this incense note, I've noticed, and a lot of oud notes, uh, especially if they're like from Arabia, so they're very expensive, um, and they smell delicious. I mean, if you can afford that, then so be it. You wear what you got to wear. But for the general public uh, who watch my videos, I wanted to make it something that was very affordable for everyone. You can just go pick this up. Uh, it's $25, $30 maybe. I think the most expensive one here probably is like 50 probably 50 the most expensive. So I wanted to make it affordable for everyone. Uh, I didn't choose any cologne uh, that's $200, $300, $400. That's not the general public that I want to reach. And if, if you own those, more power to you. Wear them. Así bien chévere, ya tú sabes. But I just wanted to make it affordable for everyone. So I'm going to try to make the video go as fast as possible. So I'm not going to mention notes. I'm going to probably mention the notes here. And maybe a price around here. Uh, but the first one that I recommend for the male witches in your life is this one right here. And I got I got my notes. I wrote some notes down. This is called Dark Rebel. You can see that fleur de lis right there. Okay, Dark Rebel. It's a beautiful black bottle. And it's got this like, it looks like the black. I don't know what that is. I love this stuff, okay? This is actually really cheap. Uh, I remember when it first came out a few years ago, it was really expensive and I, I decided to wait on it uh, uh, for a bit, but this came out in 2015. Uh, is an Oriental Woody, okay? Uh, great for the fall and winter night, it's delicious. Uh, but also I wore, it was a warm in Massachusetts uh, last week and 
it was like Indian summer. And so I sprayed it and it was, it smells good. So this would be awesome for maybe a cool spring night, spring night uh, when it's nice and cool. What does this remind me of? Until they create smell of vision I'm gonna tell you what this reminds me of. And I, like I said, I'm gonna give you the notes about, you know, the notes of the fragrance. But what does this remind me of? It reminds me of wind blowing through a New England town on a gray day. Uh, it reminds me of Nantucket, Ipswich, Salem, Newburyport. Um, if you want to feel dark and mysterious, delicious. This uh, this would be great if you're if you're Dominican and you want to drink Mama Juana. This would you would look good and you would smell good drinking Mama Juana with this. Puerto Ricanos, eh, Pitoro. This would be good with Pitoro. Uh, but like I said, this is dark. This is sweet. Uh, it has the sweetness of Caribbean sugar cane, eh, Cuban tobacco, maybe a Cuban cigar, and Jamaican rum. This stuff is delicious. Uh, this reminds me of, in the summer, I tend to wear citrusy freshies, which are very safe, and I love my bay rums, you know, my St. John bay rum, that's what I wear mostly in the summer, because uh, it reminds me of pirates. It, but this kind of reminds me of pirates as well, uh, something that a pirate of the Caribbean would wear. Uh, but sweeter. It would remind me of if there was a pirate that I could talk about, it would be the Puerto Rican, the Puerto Rican pirate Roberto Confresi y Ramirez. I just get that pirate feel from it. Uh, what else do I get? Good for the evenings uh, when the wind is blowing, a nice soft wind. Also, this reminded me of if you've ever been to San Juan, Puerto Rico, old San Juan, where El Moro, the fort, El Castillo del Moro is, uh, and you, you see the ocean, the Caribbean Sea, and the ocean, the wind blowing on an evening. Oh, that's what this reminds me of. It just reminds me of that old Spanish forts. Uh, this is just good. I definitely recommend Dark Rebel. You're not gonna, the only thing about this fragrance, that I don't like is the longevity. I get probably an hour projection and then it becomes a skin scent. Doesn't project out very well for too long, but for a skin scent, this stuff is delicious. And so this is the first one that I recommend. Dark Rebel, very pirate. If you wanna wear that pirate, you wanna smell like a pirate, this is it. Unless you wanna use a bay rum, which I love on my summer, St. John's Bay Rum. That's what I go for for the summer, but trust me, this is some good stuff, and you can pick this up real cheap. Amazon.com, go to your local Marshalls, you might be able to pick this up. The second one, the one that I want to talk about right now, it reminds me of this song. Just think about, you know, with think of, you know, witches. We don't drive, we don't ride in brooms anymore. We ride in motorcycles. So this cologne reminds me of the Brujo in the motorcycle. Stock Rebel Rider. I'm gonna put the notes up here because I don't want to make the video too long. Uh, this came out in 2016, also by John Barbados. Leather. You can see the leather jacket. Uh, this is my second bottle. Uh, it doesn't come like this. I, I placed the, the old leather jacket on the first one. But this is a leather cologne. I mean, a leather, yeah, it's a leather cologne. Uh, it's great with a dark leather jacket. I sprayed this inside my, my leather jacket. It's delicious. It smells really good. Uh, it reminds me of a witch on a Harley Davidson. There's nothing more I can say to that. It opens fresh, uh, sweet, and musky. Then it turns into a dark incense. Uh, very smoky, very aro aromatic. Again, it's got that fertile Um I love this stuff. The only reason uh, I wish it would last longer, again, it only lasts... Oh, it smells so good. You know, this has become one of my colognes that I wear when I go to bed. 
because it doesn't last long. It probably projects for one hour and then it becomes a skin sim, just like the first one. A little problem with the John Barbado line. Uh, and then I wear it in the morning, you know, when I take the dogs out for a walk, you know, I still got my pajamas on. I want to smell good, even though I don't, I look like all mess, hot mess.com, but I want to smell good. This is the thing that I wear that I grab to real quick. Delicious. Try this. You guys are going to love Dark Rebel Rider. Real good. So I took Beautiful. off my jacket. It was getting a little warm inside the house. So here is my third male witch. This one, uh, Ancre Neor. Ancre Neor means, I think it means black ink. I don't speak French. But look at this bottle. Just the back. Look at that. And it's got like a wooden cap. Okay. Clicks in real. Does that hold? Yeah, it holds it. Let me tell you, this stuff is beat to the gods good. This stuff is so good. I couldn't believe it. When I first uh, smelt this and I sprayed it on my skin, I was like, goosebumps. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Goosebumps. I'm telling you, this stuff is beat to the gods good. This is a, oh my God, I can smell that. This is not for everybody. A lot of people will get turned off by this. You really have to be a dairy person to enjoy Ancre Neor. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Came out in 2006. It's a woody aromatic. Uh, this is great for the autumn uh, and the fall days. Yeah, this would be great for the autumn, maybe the winter days. Uh, what do I get? Well, first of all, I got goosebumps when I first opened this. This is... I smell that ink. It's got that dirty earth after rainstorm smell uh it's very it's got you got that very vert that earthy very vert it's very aggressive it reminds me of dark old tomes old grimoires old books it reminds me of the ink uh used uh to write those old books uh oh my god it smells also it reminds me of tombs and old gothic chapels um, reminds me of a, an occult bookstore an occult yeah an occult bookstore somewhere in like in london and you're wearing like a london fog on a foggy day this is this is the stuff if i can think of anybody in the pop culture that i they would wear this i would say professor snape from harry potter this would be his scent uh also the author Arturo Perez e Reverente. He is the author of the book, The Club du Mas, okay? uh, which was made into a movie by, and it, was, it starred Johnny Depp. Uh, it was called The Ninth Gate. You guys gotta watch that movie. It's a great movie, uh, which is a, a, a movie about grimoires and books of magic and all that. This is what this reminds me of. But it reminds me of the character who hired Johnny Depp. His name was Boris Balkan, which is kind of funny. We'll go to Bal Bal If you know the uh, Grimoire traditions, you'll get the, the Boris Balkan little bit there. This stuff is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it. It smells like old Grimoires, old bookstores, a cult. This is just, this is what I get. Betty Bird. Very strong, very, very, I'm going to put the notes, very simple notes right there. Gorgeous. Try this. You're going to love it. If you like that bold alpha male colognes, that uh, this is the cologne that some people, you might wear it. And this is the cologne that you're going to wear if you want to be left alone. Leave me alone. I don't want to be bothered. Don't say hi to me. This is the cologne you want to wear, but it smells so good. Number four, my number four male witch fragrance is a flanker or a follow-up to Ancre Neor, and it is Ancre Neor El Extreme, or El Extreme, or whatever. I don't speak French. It's right there. I'll put it right there so you can understand it. Here is the beautiful, looks just like the, the first one. Actually, the first one is just pretty much of just a black bottle. Can't see through it. This one, at least you can see the juice, that beautiful amber juice. It is gorgeous. This stuff is sickening. This stuff is so good. It is sickening. I'm telling you. Uh, 
This one came out in 2015, and if the original one is good for autumn or, or winter days or fall days, this would be great or excellent for fall nights, fall uh, or winter nights. It is a woody ar aromatic, I'm sorry about that, um, dark incense, delicious. Uh, it's very masculine. I mean, alpha male, okay? When you wear this, you are an alpha male and you walk into that room, you, you better own it. You better work and you better work hard to own that room because this is what that this cologne or this perfume is telling you. Actually, yes, this is an Eau de Perfume and I think this was an Eau de Toilette. I could be wrong, uh, but I, this is an Eau de Perfume. So when you walk into a room, you better own it and you better work it and you better work it hard. Uh, can't be a wimp and wear this. You gotta be an alpha male. You gotta be like, ya tu sabes, aquí llegué. You know what I'm saying? Be humble about it, though. Uh, like I said, dark incense. Uh, it's deeper than the original one. It's richer, a darker Betty Bird. Uh, very resinous, okay? This is great if you're going, I mean, this stuff is delicious. If you're going to a witch's ball, okay? If you're going to Salem to a witch's ball or a witch's ball wherever you live, uh, great for those nights if you're a witch and you put, and you belong to a circle. Uh, this is great for a circle dancing under the full moon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, awesome. Who do I imagine? I don't necessarily imagine my one of my favorite actors, Christopher Lee, okay, I'll put a picture up there. Don't necessarily imagine Christopher Lee, and may he rest in peace. I don't necessarily mean Christopher Lee. I would imagine some of his characters that he has played, some of his iconic characters that he has played in movies. Uh, one of the characters that I visualize or envision in my mind wearing this is uh, the Witch King, Lord Summer's Isle from the Wicker, Man, uh, the Wicker Man and not the recent Wicker Man crap that came out that was John. Don't even watch that. I'm talking about the 1971, I think it was 71 Wicker Man, uh, but he played a, the Witch King, Lord Summer's Isle. Awesome. I think that was his best role ever. I could see him wearing this as Saruman. You know, on the Lord of the Rings, uh, or Count Dracula. Yeah, the Count Dracula, I can see that. Um, or Count Dooku in, in uh, the Star Wars franchise. One of my favorite albums when I was a kid was done by Vincent Price, and it is called Witchcraft. And actually, you can listen to the album here on, on YouTube, and I'll leave a link down below. But it's called uh, Witchcraft Magic, an adventure in demonology. And I kind of visual and visualize Vincent Price smelling like this. This stuff is, oh my God, this is sickening. Tama buenos, this is delicious. My number five, Salvador Dali. Yes, named after one of the greatest Spanish painters of the 20th, 20th century. Salvador Dali, El de Toilet. Let me tell you something. When I first smelt this, Oh my God. Well, first of all, this came out in 1980, I think 1987. When I first smelled this, I was like, by the beard of Zeus and the blood, sweat and tears of sweet baby Jesus. Wow. This stuff is crazy sickening. This is not for everybody. I'm telling you, this stuff is, first of all, let me show you. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Okay. And let me show you, take off the caps, it's the lips. You take off the caps, I want to show you. It looks like, a, see that like vampire cloth. And like I just said, every time I smell it, by the beard of Zeus and the blood, sweat, and tears of sweet baby Jesus. Mwah. This stuff, not for everybody. Trust and believe this stuff is not for everybody. I'm sorry I'm looking at my phone because I, I put notes when I first smelt it or, you know, what I thought about it. Oh, my God, it's, it's lingering. I can smell it right here. I haven't even sprayed it. This is great for winter nights. You have to be 
this is my Halloween cologne. This is what I wear when I put on my Halloween costume or, or my Halloween outfit and I'm going out to Salem or to a witch's ball or to something like that. Salvador Dali is what I wear. This stuff is dark, 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 dark. Um, it reminds me of Anne Rice's characters, vampire characters. I would, I can visualize Lestat and the vampire Marius and Armand uh, wearing this. Not so much Louis. Louis, I love Louis, but I don't see him smelling like this. Uh, this is very dirty, like wet earth in a cemetery on a foggy night. This is going to shatter all your senses. You can be like, what the heck am I smelling? Okay. A lot of people are going to be turned off by the, uh, by the, when it, when you spray it, you'll be turned off. Let it, let it settle into the skin. Oh my God. It turns into something gorgeous. Okay. But one spray because it's, 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 it's powerful stuff. This is a potion. Trust and believe that. Uh, like I said, it reminds me of a, a wet earth on a cemetery in a foggy night. It smells like an old library with a bunch of grimoires or spell books uh, that have been, you know, the pages have been imbued by the smells of magical oils and, and all that. It smells like very dark basement. It smells like if, if necromancy had an aroma or a necromancer had an aroma, this would be it. This is what I visualize a necromancer smelling like. Uh, like a necromancer's grimoire or the necromaticon whatever you call that book uh to invoke demons this is what i i visualize that book smelling like uh <sighs> you want to practice black magic this is the smell of black magic uh very violent maybe a little bit of bondage uh murky foggy sadistic Temptuous. I can see satanic witches kind of wear this. Uh, I like it. I love when it dries down, though. When it dries down, it turns into this something so amazing. If I can think of a... I'm, I'm just praising this too much. If I can think of a pop culture individuals that would wear this, I, could I can visualize the Puerto Rican actor, Guillermo del Toro, uh, when he did... I'm sorry, not Guillermo del Toro, Benicio del Toro. I always confuse those two. Benicio del Toro, when he did the movie A Wolfman, okay? I can visualize him wearing this in that movie. And the late, great Puerto Rican actor Raul Julia, when he played Gomez Adams, this is something that I visualize Gomez Adams smelling like little um uh, trivia gomez of course in spanish is a last name so in the hispanic if you watch if you watch the adams family in latin american country uh his name is homero homero is homer <laughs> because gomez is a last name but this is what i visualize gomez adams smelling like but not just any gomez no no no, no. it's gotta be the raul julia because he was the quintessential uh, Gomez in my book. Um, beautiful stuff. When it dries down, this, when you smell it, it's going to attack. Your body's going to be like, what the hell am I smelling? It's, it might give you a headache. It's that powerful, that potent. Spray only a little bit. See how it, it settles on your skin. Go back to it. Smell it half hour later. To me, it becomes the most beautiful scent, and I love it. Very dark. This is my scent that I wear Halloween. When you see me on Halloween, by the time you see me, if you see me on Halloween, say it up sometime, uh, probably it's dried down by then. It's not as strong as the bottle when it comes out the bottle, but it dries down to the most beautiful, beautiful scent. And so this is what I usually wear Halloween night. So now I'm going to add a freshie quote unquote we need to add up freshie all the clothes that i've i've talked about have been very dark very alpha very you have to be very daring to wear them i love them they have their season they have their time they're mostly all night fragrances 
Let me bring out a night fragrance that I think all male witches would enjoy, I think. Um, it is a clone of a much more expensive uh, fragrance uh, known as Aventus by Creed. That's a, like a $400 cologne. A lot of people can't afford it. So it's this one right here. See, I'm trying not to get it. This is Club de Nuit. This is the closest freshie that I'm going to recommend today. Now, I love my freshies. Don't get me wrong. I love my 4711. I love my uh, Colonias Concentradas. I love my fruit and my citruses. Uh, in this, I love my safe aromas. But I like to be a little bit daring, you know. Um, for the summer, for a summer night, if you want a nice smoky nice a uh, citrus leather smoky fruity fragrance that is safe that is not gonna offend nobody because some of these colognes might offend people like this one and uh, this guy over here this baby over here might offend people this is more of a safe cologne it is beautiful look at that first of all look at the look at the presentation okay uh, it um, looks like it's got the, the cap. It's got like these cubic zirconi or something like that. It's got like a necklace right there, a talisman or something. I had it at a safety, a uh, freshie, because I love my freshies. But usually in the summer, I like to wear a lot of the blurriness, blurriness. Usually in the summer, I like to wear a lot of bay rum. I like spice. I like a lot of Jamaican spice, nutmeg. But this is, you know, there's times you gotta change it up, switch it up a little bit. This is my freshie for the summer. I love this stuff. I wish the atomizer, and I just sprayed it in my eye, the atomizer are dark so I can never find them. But, you know, really beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous smell. This is just, ah, uh, mm, the citrus is gorgeous. I love citrus. I love citrus smells. But then it, it go, goes into this leather, smoky, like you're smoking a tobacco or something like that. It's gorgeous for the summer. Now, I'm going to go too much into this one. It's very safe. Very safe. Um, this has been talked about gazillions of times on the internet. I just needed to add a safer one for the warmer uh, summer night. This is the one. To so I want to apologize of the blurriness sometimes it, it, you would think for such an expensive I'm record I record my videos on cell phone and you think for such an expensive cell phone that I wouldn't get blurry videos but I get blurry videos and I'm sorry about that so my last one I'm gonna do a last one so we all know that uh, witches most witches are androg androgynous creatures, okay? We are very androgynous creatures by nature. And so I have to add a female perfume. I've talked about this before. This probably will be my last time I ever mention it. I have to add a female fragrance in there because I love it. This is the perfume that I put on when I go to sleep, this is my comfort scent. And here it is. This is the presentation. Bang. And when you open it, okay. First of all, there's a YouTuber that watches my YouTubers that she purchased this perfume for Christmas. I don't know if she liked it. If you're watching, please let me know down below if you liked it, if you hated it. If you hated it, I'm so sorry. Okay. But okay so like i said we are androgynous creatures and let me show you the last one because i gotta put a female fragrance out there bang here it is here's the baby diamond diana by diana ross people who know me know that my first album i've ever bought when i was a little kid and i'm gonna say my age pretty much was 1979 the first album i ever bought was diana ross the boss that album right there i've always had a love affair for diana ross she is my everything i love her to pieces oh my god did you guys see in the grammys diana sorry about that um 75 years old and still rocking it 
amongst all these 20, 30 year olds. But bang, there it is, Diamond Diana. So if I said that this is um, for, what's his name, Gomez Adams, this one right here, we'll take it out, would be for Morticia Adams. But I love this stuff. I wear Diamond Diana for a bed. It's one of my favorite perfumes. I don't know if they can discontinue it. I don't think it's very popular. Uh, it is an oriental floral. It's delicious. I think of Morticia Adams wearing this. Uh, again, these two colognes, this is what I visualize if, you know, you know, this is, this is, uh, oh my God, <laughs> uh, Gomez, Gomez, and Morticia, and they make Wednesday and Friday and Thursday and whatever the babies' names are. This is what I visualized that she wore when they made Wednesday and Monday and whatever their names are. Uh, also, another witch that I envisualized, look at that beautiful blue color in that one. This uh Bellatrix, Bellatrix Lestrange from a Harry Potter. I visualize her smelling like this, you know, tough, crazy, like, ugh, I don't know, but it smells good. It's kind of weird, but it smells good. It's kind of like, I don't know, but it smells good. I visualize Bellatrix Lestrange wearing this. My godson, he said, let me smell this Diamond Diana that you talk so much about. And he's like, Child, you do not wear this outside. I said, no, this is for me for when I go to bed. He goes, this, this does not smell like Diamond Diana. This smells like Dirty Diana. Like, that's, why, cause I, that's why I like it. Okay, so I love it. It's delicious. I had to mention it my last time I'm ever going to mention Diamond Diana because I, I think I've plugged it a couple of times and I'm not getting paid for none of these colognes or none of these fragrances. But look at that. It comes in this beautiful box. This suede or whatever you call it with this black and it reminds me of like wow darkness in the bottle you know you're gonna get some magic in that bottle love it this is Morticia's Adams this is what I visualize Morticia Adams smelling like and I guess Diana Ross smells like this too which makes sense because Diana Ross wears is known to wear a obsession uh, the female obsession which is kind of similar to this uh, very loud power this is not something that a lot of modern no red noses would like. All right, so I'm just going to give you my final thoughts before I end the video. For summer nights, Club de Nuit, very beautiful, very smoky, citrusy, very leathery. Great for a club night, dark clothing on a summer night. It's good stuff. A dark Rebel, love it. Very spicy, smoky, leathery. Well, the other one's more leathery great i wish it lasted a little bit longer on the skin so this would be around the home i would definitely say love this stuff again dark rebel rider uh sorry it's got the two jackets this is because it's my second bottle that I, I like the little leather jacket but anyways beautiful leather dark mysterious you know modern day witches we don't ride brooms we ride motorcycles harley davidson except for this brujo right here who rides like a bicycle like that like that that's that one that's the type of which i ride bicycles but anyways beautiful great for cool nights around the home awesome halloween october you want to smell dark um mysterious uh powerful punk like a vampire again look at the teeth this is definitely good. Salvador Dali. And then, oh, my babies. I love, the, I love them both. Um, when this one came out, this, this, is, oh, this is so, so good. So delicious. So yummy. And then this one just amped it up a little bit more. This would be for the day. Those autumn and um, winter days. Maybe in the spring. A cool spring a day this would be nice for a, 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 up to the spring night delicious sabroso and diamond diana that's what i wear for bed so anyways this is san sixta brujo luis i hope you like my 
you like my mail witches video i should end the video the way i started it with my heavy jacket which is all the way over here let me see if i can put it on it says heavy so anyways this is sancista brujo luis i hope you enjoyed the video much love much respect uh if you have not subscribed subscribe hit that like button uh Press the notification button so that you can get notified for when I place out future videos. San Sista Brujolis, Santo Sanse. Ciao. I'm going to do a postscript because a postscript PS because I noticed as I was recording the video and as I was talking, this the liquid seemed very green. You could probably see it right there. Well, this one is more clear. It comes out brown in the video for some reason. So then I wanted to check up a uh, batch code. I couldn't find a batch code to this one. There's no batch code in the box. So I don't know if it's just Diamond Diana that doesn't have a batch code. But most every fragrance that I've ever known, to find out if it's legit, it has a batch code. Let me see that. Look, at you, you can see the two different colors. This is supposed to be the same perfume. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Batch code here is... A, Encrenor Al Extreme. Okay, so when you buy a perfume, where's the batch code number? Right there. Okay, so you see it? This is the batch code. Now, here's the bottle. Then you have to look in the bottom and find that number right there. This is the batch code. It should match that number. That lets you know that this is not a counterfeit. If you can see that, sorry about the brightness. I just wanted you to see right there. You can see both the, the batch code on this one that matches the box. Now, yeah, perfumes get reformulated very quickly and, and sometimes ingredients change, but this perfume just came out like, what, two years ago? So I'm kind of like, do they smell the same? Well, this one smells like Diamond Diana, but it smells more citrusy, while this is more the dog diana that i'm used to so and again i couldn't find a batch note so i guess diamond diana has been counterfeit felt, felt which i had the box for this one but i can't find a batch code here anywhere all right so i just wanted to add a postscript again just to the at the end of the video you can see it right there okay so i couldn't find a batch code but one thing i did find I don't know if you can see it, you probably can't. Is the date, which is what? 4 1 2018. And in the box, I also found 4 01 2018. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I don't know if that's a batch code. If anyone knows, let me know. Usually I know the batch code by this number, right? There, that the white one right there. All right, I'm gonna end this video now. Sansista Bruja Luis.